on the field and off the field. So just spending a lot of time with those guys as much as we can this summer. Um, and, you know, I think our strength coach, Gerald Bauer, has done a tremendous job up to this point, and he spends more time with them in the summer than we do. But everything that we do collectively kind of aligns with, you know, what Coach Holgerson wants for the program, and then we kind of trickle down from there. So I think we have a good plan. Um, we seem to be in great shape, and guys are excited to be back on the field. As a D.C. new league, new challenges, what do you see from it? I mean, you're worried about your team, obviously, but if you look at the, the week to week now in terms of the offenses that you guys are going to face and sort of does it change how you conduct business, how you how you evaluate your team, knowing what you're going to going to play this year? Absolutely. I mean, first thing, it all starts. It's all about the players, right? So acquire more talent um, that fits the, the schemes and the, and, the, and the talent that we'll face in the Big 12. Um, very excited, you know, with all of the Big 12 moves and us being the, you know, our inaugural season within the Big 12. Um, I think our players will have a heightened sense of urgency uh, because of scheduling. And then, you know, I think it'll be really exciting, especially when you get into home games. You know, the atmosphere, a lot of a lot of alumni of other universities in the city of Houston, our players excited to play in front of family and friends. And then obviously the stakes are higher. Um, you know, the better you play, the better bowl games you get, the better opportunities that you have. So uh, really not looking ahead, but just knowing that what's in front of us is, is different and we have to approach things different and we have to make sure that we're building a roster in that way and that we're coaching players that fit who we're going to uh, play on a weekly basis. What does the linebacker group sort of look like so far in terms of how that shake out? Yeah, I think, um, you know, a couple guys who have been here, obviously, uh, Jamarcus played a lot last year. Donovan was in out of line with Andrews. He was a team captain and leader for us, and I think Chicks did a good job when he was in there. Uh, getting Malik back is really big for us. He's one of our most talented backers with a lot of experience. Um, he's just bad battle health last year. Went out in the first half of the Texas Tech game and then played more. He was our starter, so having him back um, provides tremendous value. He's kind of a throwback player that plays with the edge, very physical, and do a lot of different things well. And then a lot of young guys that we're excited about. You know, Jamal Morris is, is here. He was in and out with injuries, and we played him. He's developing as a linebacker to play safety when he's at Oklahoma. Um, he's gained 15 or 20 pounds since he's been here. Um, has the stature, has the athletic ability, he just has to get in there and do it. Traylon Payne is one of the most arguably most talented guys on our team. We saw flashes of him um, when he was in the lineup. He didn't finish the season last year, but we're excited about him, just the athletic ability. And then, you know, some of those young guys like um, like Jalen Garden and some of those guys that we haven't been able to see in the division of some of the freshmen, um, McCutcheon and some of those other guys, I think will provide tremendous value along with all three coming in from Colorado. When y'all moved Deontay Anderson, that, that worked Worked out pretty well. The hospital, the, the Hippolyte situation is very, very similar. Was that a is that a hard sell for a guy that's you know old or? No, it, I don't think it is at all. We've done it three years in a row. Grant Stewart was first, right. and obviously it worked out well for him. He's doing well in the NFL. Deontay, um, very intelligent, very athletic, has size, um, the speed to do a lot of different things for us, and he understood scheme because he had played in the back end. Um, and Hassan brings so much value to our team. You know, as far as being the vocal leader, he's physical, he's athletic, um, and I think for him to reach his goals, it's, it's a great opportunity for him. He's built uh, same stature, you know, as, as some of those guys. He's played a lot of football and he started a bunch of games. So, you know, the veteran presence along with, you know, the athleticism to do some different things with him to play multiple positions, um, as well as how much football is important to him and what he's provided to our team over the last couple of years um, is, is going to be awesome for our team. Is there a clear next Mooton type guy who's going to be the vocal, or is it going to be a bunch of guys, or are you still looking for that guy? Um, I think it'll be a couple different guys, but you know, Hassan has been that even when Donovan was here. You know, they kind of bounced off of each other as far as who was talking and who was leading and who who uh, who was you know sending the message at that time. And I think you know having him here, and I think a lot of things that you do, it's always a natural progression. You have to teach leaders how to lead, right? And so all these new guys that we're trying to you know bring along. You know, having Hassan in there who's been a three-time captain, which is hard to do. You know, and the greatest respect that you can have is of your peers, and the locker room respects him for how he plays and how he approaches the game. So that's going to rub off on other people. And uh, I think we have some other guys, like I mentioned before, that will do a good job in leadership positions, and, and we'll keep to bring other guys along. Coach, with Littrell McCutcheon, uh, can you update where things stand with him? How he's mixing in? Is he waiting on a waiver? Does he have to wait for anything you can clear up on that? I don't really have an update yet. Um, we're glad to have him, certainly. He's played a lot of football in his first two years of college. He has some veteran presence to him. Uh, so no matter what happens with him, we're excited about him. We'll continue to develop. And I think, you know, since he's been here, I think he's already gained, you know, a lot of respect from his teammates. And it's, it's just fun to have him around 
as his little brother. Yeah. And have totally opposite <laughs> personalities, and he's going to be a big-time football player as well. Um, and so him being around his brother, him being on our team, uh, you know, being from Texas, coming back home, he's excited. He has a lot of relationships with guys on our team already, so we're excited to have him. Did you guys talk yet about Tanichi? Or is that is that done yet? Or is that as far as is he working with you guys? Yes, he is. Okay, I mean, that's pretty good experience. Yeah, he's in. awesome. You know, awesome for to be around and for us, for staff, a lot of experience as a player. Um, great person, great coach. Uh, I think he'll provide some value to us as well. Just being a fly on the wall in some of those rooms. You know, first round pick who has a great story like him. Battle leukemia. Um, has been a Power 5 Division One coach, has a lot of life stories, a lot of experience, and I think he'll help us in a lot of different ways outside of football as well.